Four receivers set, five, caught, Harvin extends, touchdown. The first touchdown in the career of Percy Harvin, and he will never forget it because it's thrown by the Hall of Famer, the future Hall of Famer, Brett Favre. He's are going in. First and goal. So Percy Harvin working in the slot gets the quick throw and an easy touchdown as the Vikings pour it on here in Detroit. This looked familiar. You know, Florida, University of Florida fans are saying this is exactly how Urban Meyer used Harvin. You put him in the slot, you get your great players, your great athletes, the ball in space. And when he got three yards, Harvin, we already talked about his, his building and the character you see on the football on the field. The fans are absolutely loving it. Percy Harvin brings it back from the goal line. He's got some room. Watch out. Percy's going. Percy Harvin is gone. Touchdown, Vikings. Percy Harvin on the return for the Vikings. Harvin across midfield. Puts back inside. Uh, Jeffrey, you're going to get in trouble on this one. The second kickoff return for a touchdown this season by the rookie out of Florida, Percy Harvin. 88 yards on a Vikings touchdown. You want to answer a big play with a big play? We just saw it right here. Jeff Reed has an opportunity to just have this be a good return. Percy Harvin hits it on the fly. Bit up. Act like that. And there's where the official oh. gets bumped. He gets hit hard. Hope that he's okay. But this is absolutely unacceptable. Number one, as the kicker, you make the returner go back to the middle of the field. You don't allow him to the sideline. Great vision by Percy Harvin, too, of cutting back. Field on first down. And far to throw. Unbelievable protection. Throws into traffic. The catch made by Harvin. He cuts it back the other way and into the end zone. Touchdown, Percy Harvin. And, and as a result, Favre has a little bit of time. I mean, there's a little pressure up inside, but you see he's able to stay there and deliver it. Percy Harvin working inside. They've got some defenders there. He just goes up and makes the play. I mean, he makes the play on the ball. No one else does. And then it's Keystone Cops. On point. Percy Harvin, his rookie. Finds him. Touchdown. Can he be a rookie of the year already? Yeah, I think just he, give it to him. Just yeah. give it to him. Seven nothing. But Farmer just getting started in the second quarter. Take that loss. Now an empty backfield behind Farb, and he goes over the middle. Touchdown. Percy Harvin. Percy Harvin runs a nice route. He, he sets up the defender and then cuts across his face for a pretty good lane there for Brett Favre, but Brett does that. They're starting to run the ball more effectively. We've talked about Kirk, what Kirk Warner can do in that play action game. Favre swings it to the end zone. Touchdown, Harvin. For recovery. It's a new life for the Vikings. At the Lions' 24-yard line. Favre to the end. Zone, and a diving catch is made for a touchdown by Percy Harvin. Lost bottom of the screen. Pressure comes. Far for Harvin. It's stride. Percy wow. Harvin. Touchdown. What a throw. Can you believe this guy? What? I, I mean, this is, this is just incredible, this throw. The Vikings will go for two to try to tie the game. Favre doesn't know it yet. Now he finds out and gets him back toward the huddle. It's, it's a blitz again. Randy hey, clears I, it out. 
A clear out's going to come on your left side of the, gr the screen. And Favre jumps and throws a bullet to Percy Harvin. The anticipation was just, just incredible. He had, <laughs> he had to throw that ball so early because the pressure was on him. Far looking that way. Throwing to the corner for Harvin. Two feet down. Yes! Touchdown, Viking! How about that throw? How about that throw? Rolling to his left. His elbows bothering him, but... See the two feet. Catch. One foot down. Great job bringing the second down. No All question. the way down. Possession of the ball. Great play by Harvin. Because the force out's no longer a part of the league. And Leonard tried to push him out. Great stuff. Finding Roy Williams in the back of the end zone and spots where Roy can point up and catch that ball. Opening kickoff of the third oh, quarter and Percy Harvin with the stat. Here he goes again. 95 yards for the touchdown. Game tied up at 14. And there was more. Minute 20 to go in the opening frame. Moss wide left. Harvin now comes into the backfield. And they're going to give it to Harvin. And Harvin through the middle for a touchdown. And that is something the Vikings want to start to do more and more. Get Harvin the ball, either by throwing it to him, or as they did last week against Dallas as well, handing it off to him and letting him exploit the middle of the defense, which he does brilliantly right there. And this is the value of Percy Harvin. There's no backs in the, in the game. All of a sudden, you motion him from out wide. You get so used to seeing Percy Harvin running around and doing these things. Watch now. They're going to run a counter back inside, and it's the tight end, Jeff Dugan, who's going to come up on A.J. Hawk and make the key block right there. Pretty cool stuff. That was clever. There's a couple of possessions later of Brett Favre. He buys some time as well. It's Percy Harvin wide open. Oh, you got to try to get a reroute going. You cannot let Percy Harvin run free down the sideline. Didn't get that reroute right there from the cornerback position. And the safety got caught peeking inside. That means six for Percy Harvin and Brett Favre. 53-yard touchdown. Vikings on top, 10-7. to seven. Favre. Side jump by Toina. Free play to Harvin. Percy Harvin in for the touchdown. Remember the snow games, and, and they did a heck of a job with that. Neither team made the playoffs last year. They want to get back to the promised land. That's Percy Harvin. Harvin switching directions. He's got a lane and then some. Percy Harvin across the 30. Opening kickoff of the 2011 season. And Harvin will score. No flags are down. One hundred and three yards. And there's a look at Richard Basaccia, the Chargers special teams coach. The Chargers were horrible in special teams last year and it bites them right in the back and how about the concern about returns and a lack of them in the national football league percy harvin takes the first kick of the season for the vikings all the way back and the special teams woes that killed the San Diego takes it two yards deep and he gets the outside he stumbles here but this is a good strong runner he's got great vision and his blockers stay alive during the play. They know this is a guy that can end up anywhere on the field when he gets in the balls in, in his hands. Just because he starts in one direction, that doesn't mean he's going to continue in that direction. You see a great cut back there, and no one's going to catch this young man. Sideline. He's been out since that time. It looked like the wind kind of came out of the bike. He's still trying to recruit. Here is a first and ten. Harvard with blockers. Hutchinson in front. That is a touchdown. 
six yard catch and run touchdown by Percy Harvin. And I think you can see there is talent on this Vikings team. There is something to work with and give Christian Ponder to help him with his offense. Look at this, a nice design play by Bill Musgrave, the offense coordinator. Throwback screen to Percy Harvin. And you give him any kind of crease, any blocking whatsoever, he'll find the end. A good field position. And they're forced into a fourth down. They're going for it. Ponder, bombs one, end zone. Percy Harvin with the catch. A touchdown grab on fourth and 13 for Percy Harvin. He's got a touchdown in consecutive weeks. Gets it done on fourth down. And all of a sudden, they're only... She's watching this as well. Should Oakland go down? I'd run that screen again. Defender fell down. And hold it. To the end zone. Or do this. <laughs> That's okay with me. You're going to see right here in the slot. Looks like they get tied up. To, they got away with just a little bit of push there on Chris Harris. And now you're not going to catch this guy. But this guy is so good. He's been there to help lead that defense that was going through transition. They're coming after Ponder. He gets it away. The crossing pattern to Harvin already with a big touchdown. the blitz we just saw Daryl or Brian Dawkins knock down a pass Percy Harvin's gonna cross the field they zone blitz leaving a voided zone on the back side they don't have enough bodies this guy in the open field game set and match something you could open and they find on the foot slam Percy Harvin for the touchdown Webb floats one and that is Percy Harvin for a Viking touchdown. I just don't know how you stop that with Harvin's speed and Webb's versatility. Harvin comes all the way from the other side of the formation, and he's out in front of London Fletcher and Josh Wilson already. Joe Webb by the players what a play call by Bill Musgrave there's London Fletcher watch Percy Harvin here there's man coverage on him he's already out leverage that being Josh Wilson but the fake forces London Fletcher to take two false steps up inside Harvin comes in motion and he's already got the whole defense out leveraged Joe Webb makes it look easy what a terrific call defense they take over at the 18 and then on a second and goal right up the middle busting up there Percy Harvin for his second rushing touchdown of the season, Vikings go up 10. Coming to the game with an 11-game losing streak in the NFC North. Opening kickoff, it's to Percy Harvin. That's a lot of blue shirts. Okay, nobody pull a hamstring. Jason Hansen, run off the field. Just run. That's it. Run off the field. You're not going to catch him. That's very good. Very good. Percy Harvin into the end zone. 7-0 Minnesota Vikings. Could this losing streak be coming? Operation to Jenkins. Babineau got the idea from Ponder's eyes that Ponder was going to throw that inside, jumped away from Jenkins and gave him the open spot. First and goal, Harvin. Great second effort at touchdown, Minnesota. Tennessee knows that Percy Harvin is going to be a huge part of this game. But they have to find him. Watch at the cluster. Percy Harvin is lined up really in the backfield. And he gets this as an inside handoff from Ponder. And he just acts like a running back. Lintless 
progression down the field every seemingly every series for Minnesota. Third and five. The Titans have been in some one-sided losses, and they got to keep it out of the end zone. Nice move by Harvin. Pushing Harvin, touchdown! What a play! Munchak was right about his defense. They are really struggling to tackle. Percy Harvin right off the wing back. He's going to come out. One missed tackle there. Two, three. Collisions from the secondary defenders who had to come up and make the tackle on Harvin. Three receivers on the left side. Simpson, Jenkins, Harvin. And they go the other way to Percy Harvin. Fighting touchdown. His second touchdown catch of the season. Good to have him in down in the red zone, right? I, this is all about Kyle Rudolph. He's going to go out, and there's two de defenders that go with him. Watch this. You got two defenders there with Kyle Rudolph, Daryl Washington, and Patrick Peterson. Lined up all the way here to the left. You're going to see Patrick Peterson, who's lined up in man coverage. Harvin all the way across the formation to the flat quickly. There's no way Patrick Peterson could ever get there. I mean, if you're a defensive coordinator like Ray Horton of the Cardinals with Adrian Peterson. Here, the safety Barron on the tight end Rudolph. Flounder, the fade to the corner. Caught! Harden, touchdown! Better match up there. Man-to-man <laughs> -man coverage. The outside receiver is going to squat, giving him all the room to go to the corner. Ball's thrown perfectly over right arc right and drops it in the bucket over the shoulder. Nice catch. Wonderful concentration. And Brad Nessler, I think we've got a... He had one kick return for 58 yards in his one regular season game against his former team, the Vikings, and they just pop it up. Good kick by Prater on a hop. It's Harvin, but now he takes off. And Percy Harvin gets free. Percy Harvin. Inside the 30, he's going to go. Touchdown, Seattle. Harvin to return this ball and it's just terrible play by the special teams of the Denver Broncos in coverage they had a number of guys with an opportunity to make a play on Percy Harvin before he got going and once he did there's nobody on this field 21 other guys nobody can run like Percy Harvin hip surgery in August he missed the championship game with a concussion 36 percent on third down last week against Green Bay so this is something that they're definitely going to have to do, to do better at. They pitch it to Percy Harvin. And that's a first down. Down the sideline goes Harvin. And he will go into the end zone. The electrifying Percy Harvin takes a pitch 51 yards for the touchdown. <laughs> this is what Percy Harvin does. He creates the big play possibility of just being on the football field. They're going to sell it to Marshawn Lynch like they're going to run a little dive inside. And just the toss out, the flip outside, look at the great blocking by Baldwin. When it comes to running the football and running these things, everybody on the field, all 11 guys got to participate and get involved. Baldwin is the key on that, to get that block, to seal that edge for Harvin to take that ball down the sidelines. Harvin, the Virginia Beach, Virginia native, 26 years old, former number one pick by Minnesota in 2009. And whenever he puts his hands on the football, there's that block by Baldwin you referred to. Determined before they ever arrived to the stadium. Morning with second season as the Jets' offensive coordinator. What has he done? Down pass to Harvin. Yeah, 21, Josh Robinson. See, he 
doesn't disrupt Percy Harvin's release from the line of scrimmage. And that speed's going to work against them. And then Harvin is able to make an adjustment. And come. Big hug from Rex Ryan. All right, so next Bill's possession off the pick. Tyrod Taylor going deep. Not Sammy Watkins. That is Percy Harvin that on the 51-yard score. That's exciting. And I'll tell you what, everybody talks about Tyrod, ball control, run when needed. But he delivered on 